And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail. There are obviously many designs that you can use but basically you need the perfect size. Go to File New and use the drop down on the template. For YouTube thumbnails we need 1280x720. So just select it here and confirm we are OK. You will have one layer. It's currently filled with a white color. Enough said for the actual design. There are uncountable ways of creating a thumbnail, but for the most part you also need an image. You can just drag and drop it onto your canvas. You can see mine is way too big for my canvas size. Let me rename that, so this was the original. If I press Shift S, I've got the scale tool active. And you can see I've got the image layer active as well. So I'm scaling this and not the background. Let me divide it by 4. The link icon is active, so the width and height are divided by 4 at the same time. Here is our image. Let me use the move tool. I'll move it back on top of my canvas. Now it's a little bit too small, so I use Shift S again, and I can just drag these corners and fill my canvas. Click on scale to confirm it. I'll move it a little bit up on our control when I do. So now our image has a good size for the thumbnail. Finally, you want to add a text. Just use the type tool right here. T is a shortcut for it. Click on your canvas and you can add some text. If you want to adjust it, make sure that you press Ctrl A so that all of the text is selected. And then you can use, for example, this function to make it bigger. If you want to move it around, you'll have to use the move tool right here. If you still want to adjust it afterwards, just reactivate the type tool, left click on your text, and you can for example change the font, and use one of these styles options below, so let me make it big, I'll move it around once more. We've got what you want. Go to File and then Export. You can use Export As. By default it should be a PNG file. You can use that for a direct upload to YouTube as long as your entire file is smaller than 2 megabytes. And this is how you can create such YouTube thumbnails in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.